Hey guys, Coach Brandon here from Hybrid Fitness, and today we're gonna go over a step-by-step -step guide on how to get your first pull-up. First step is make sure we're doing the right things nutritionally. We wanna make sure we're staying in the right body fat percentage to make sure we can pull ourselves up the bar as easy as possible. If you're a man, you're looking right around an 18 to 20% or so body fat percentage. Females, 20 to 22. These numbers aren't a concrete rule. There are situations where you can Way under that, be under that body fat percentage and not be able to get pull up. And there's a situation where you can be over that body fat percentage and still be able to get pull up. Me, myself, I am running right around 22 or 23%, so I'm a little bit over the recommended body fat percentage for a man. Um, I can still get pull ups though, it's because of years of doing these exercises consistently and adding more weight each time. From there, we'll go into the actual exercises. Today, we're going to start off with a single arm bent over row or a three point row, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, we got a bench here, one dumbbell. We're gonna get into a small split stance. Hand goes on the bench. Make sure we're keeping a nice flat back. And as we come down, we're gonna pull that elbow up, squeezing our upper back, and back down. Make sure we fully extend the arm, and coming back. We don't wanna just pull our arm back here. We wanna really come back, squeeze that upper back, and release. We would wanna do multiple sets of those each time and make sure we're always constantly trying to add more weight, more and more each time. Once you get really good and comfortable with these, we want to go into a body weight style row. There's a few options you can do. We personally really like ring rows. There's a lot of options you can do with ring rows. We can come here and do more of a traditional row. Here, kind of similar to that bent over row. Keep a nice flat back. Make sure we're not dipping those hips. We want to come up, squeezing that upper back. Release, get full extension of the arms, and back up. We can come down as we get better and better at it. Come down, get one leg up in the air so we're right underneath, and do more of a traditional pull-up style ring row. Uh, once you get really comfortable with those, we'll actually head now to the pull-up bar. We have a band set up here to help when you first get to the bar. Put it around your foot. You wanna get hands just right around shoulder width apart. And from here, we want to make sure we keep the rest of our body tight. Squeeze that up and back with the same as in the rows. Up, chin up to the bar. And back down. Uh, another thing we can do actually real quick is, once you start doing these, you get multiple sets, you're gonna get tired eventually. And so what we can do is come up, hold ourselves here, and just come down real nice and slow as we can. Once these become easier and easier, the next step would be to get rid of the band altogether. Toss that side, and now we go into eccentric pull-ups. So we're here, just body weight at this point. Coming up, holding still, and just nice and slow on the way down. Use the bench to get back up there. Up to the bar, here, and down. You go, try and control your body the whole way through. Uh, get a few weeks worth of those in, and then you're coming back to the bar, and from here we're doing normal pull up, squeezing, back up and back, up to the bar, and down. There we go, guys. There's a step by, quick step by step guide on how to get your first pull up. Hope this helped today. If it did, make sure we like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.